Hello everyone, today I have a quick tip for all of you who play KSP2 or 1 and are not aware of precision control. I found a discussion about this topic on the KSP subreddit and it showed that many players haven't known about it, even though they have logged several hundreds of hours into the game. And I have to say, I was one of them, so I decided to make this short video to spread this knowledge further. So what is precision control exactly? Well, if you have ever flown an aircraft in the game, you might have noticed that every time you press one of the relevant buttons for pitch, yaw or roll control, the registered input is quite significant. Therefore, it's difficult to make fine adjustments. That's where precision control comes into play. When enabled, it significantly limits the maximum registered input for all three axes, allowing you to adjust the orientation very precisely. To toggle between enabled and disabled modes for precision control, you just need to press caps lock. And that's it. Very simple, but very useful. Additionally, I'd like to share tips about trimming, as that might also be something not everyone is aware of. Trim comes in handy when you want to fly for a long time without manually controlling the control surfaces yourself all the time. You can set it once as you desire and trim will keep it exactly like that until changed. For instance, when you want to keep your nose pitch up constantly to slowly increase your altitude, just set your trim accordingly and it will keep the set orientation. You can set trim for all axes individually. To set the trim, press Alt and then corresponding input. Here in the video, I've tried to set trim just for the pitch axis and the result is slow stable loop without me giving it any additional inputs. To reset it, all you have to do is just press Alt X. Just be aware that this will also set your thrust to zero, so we have to manually set it back. And that will be all today. I hope it was helpful, happy flying, and see you next time fellow carbonauts.